Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create a simple zombie AI that uh, will chase the player around the map. I will also show you how to implement a model and an animation to make it look like an actual zombie. First thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to create a new blueprint class and we're going to make this a character. Because when you create a character blueprint, it comes with some extra logic that we need uh, for the AI to work. So click on character, name this, uh, for example, BP underscore uh, AI. Open it. All right, uh, we already have um, a little collider here, um, but to make it everything more visible, I'm also gonna um, add a sphere so uh, we can see uh, the AI as it's moving. So this one, this one, uh, two, uh, maybe 0.7, and this uh, 1.6. All right, this is a nice, nice little egg. So with this setup, we can go onto the event graph and uh, we're gonna look for event tick and uh, we're gonna drag off the execute pin and now we're gonna look for move to um, let's see simple move to actor so we're gonna look for simple move to actor there's also a complex one uh, AI move to it's called it's a little bit more complicated uh, but for this tutorial we only need this one so um, now we need to get a controller reference and we can do this by typing get controller like this and we also need a goal for the AI and uh, to get a goal we're gonna look for get player and uh, get player character and we're gonna put this here drag this into goal and we can test it out. Hit compile, save, drag this into your level and nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? In order for our navigation to work, we first need a navigation bounce volume. To create this, you can go here to the plus icon, uh, browse to volumes and then click on nav mesh bounce volume. Um, you can configure the size here or you can scale it, but uh, personally I would make it bigger here first and then uh, you can still scale it up. Um, so for now, I think I'm gonna do it like this. And then maybe do it like this. You don't need to be that high. So uh, I think this is pretty good for the start. If you want to test out um, if your navigation works or you just want to see your navigation, you can go to show and then check navigation and now you will see your navigation mesh so now you actually have a visual representation of uh, where your character can navigate um, for example you can't go up here but you could fix this um, by configuring your uh, navigation mesh differently um, but that's something for a different tutorial uh, today it's all about the movement logic um, so now that we have this nice representation, let's test it out and see if it works. And we can see, oh yes, the egg is chasing us. All right, so now that we got the basic movement figured out, let's add a nice animation to our zombie. Uh, I've headed over to Mixamo, which is a great free database for both rigged characters and also animations. And uh, you can mix the characters with the animation right here and uh, then export them as an FPX, which is uh, extremely practical. While it is free, you do have to make an account in order to use Mixamo, but you don't need a subscription or anything. The link I put in the description should lead you roughly here. Um, just make sure that you have in place checked and everything else uh, you can configure however you want. So um, let's click on download. You can leave everything here uh, the way it is, download, and that's it. Now we only have to import it into Unreal Engine. 
Now you can just drag your FBX file in here, but uh, when you import it, make sure uh, you import animations. This is crucial for everything to work, otherwise you don't have the animation, you just have the mesh. Uh, now click import all. Okay. Now we go back into our AI blueprint. So everything we really need to do now uh, is just to drag our zombie skeletal mesh into the viewport. Uh, give it the right give it the right position and rotation. Oops. Just like this. Um, this blue arrow right here tells you uh, where the front of the blueprint is, so that's very useful. Uh, we can now delete the sphere because we don't need it anymore, it was just for visualization. And uh, then we're gonna click on the zombie and um, in the tab animations we're gonna switch it from use animation blueprint to use animation asset. And now we can look for our animation sequence and there we have it. I just realized this has to be of course at the bottom of the collision sphere. The last thing we need to do um, is we have to go into character movement and we have to match our character speed uh, with the speed of our animation. Um, you could do this through trial and error. Um, for my values uh, I found that uh, 35 is um, a good value but you could always uh, of course make this double and then go into your zombie walk um, and put the play rate at 2. So now your zombie will have twice the speed but it will still be in sync with the character speed. So now if we try this out you can see that the boots Ah, they're still a little bit too fast, but this is okay. You can barely see it, only if you look very closely. So yeah, this was basically it. Uh, now we have a nice little zombie that follows us around. Um, it can't do much for now, but um, I will probably make tutorials in the future explaining uh, how to do more advanced zombie AI, because I'm, that's what I'm currently learning. But uh, nonetheless, I still hope this was useful to you and you learned something. Um, if you did, if you liked the video, uh, feel free to tell me by, you know, liking the video. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. And until then, uh, I hope I see you in the next one. Bye bye.